Okay, welcome to round two. This time with the villain side of the story here. This time around, you got a whole new Joker on your hands. You got the laughing man himself. The evil, corrupt Joker himself. The Joker here. We're talking about the one, personally, even though Vigilante Joker had the basically the best start of the two, I think this had a better in-between. Because the beginning is really just... Here, the beginning is just like, um... Discovering crap about the Joker and stuff. Literally, the middle here is where John breaks into Wayne Enterprises and literally kills... Wayne's entire tower of people, which is just insane. Like, that's definitely what Joker is. Insane. Can we go back a little bit? Literally, they're just standing in a meeting. So literally, this is the part I accidentally skipped over. But, yeah, they're t apparently they're talking about how I was working with them. So, literally, just, they're just going over this stuff. And now, also, yeah, this is, this is literally just, Literally, this part I haven't seen, so that's why I was silent for a second. But literally, the thing is that, well, that's it. That's the whole reason why it's, it's happened. It was so everyone got stuck here. So now, uh, yeah. So then, we get the break in. Personally, my favorite scene out of either one. Because he just straight up kills everyone except for Bruce in Wayne Tower. Including Regina. Regina. Or I can't pronounce her name. Literally. She and they, like, look at this, just. Like, we just skip a little bit. And literally, this. Wayne's building. Everyone. I go back a bit. Ah. Still gotta go back. Literally. Literally, he just killed everyone. And then, to put the he hit in the wound, finishing off Regina right in front of your freaking eyes. They did. They did something really. He was really, really dark. Literally, this came off as. Really disturbing and perfect. And then, there's the dinner scene, which is the one thing I want to talk about even more. He literally, every, he's literally just trying to make them freaking hate, see what makes them bad. Literally. By giving them freaking... Rigged. Everything is just, like, rigged. So literally... What we can say about this is that, well... Also from earlier, Gordon gave... Got the map from Joker to bring in Batman. 
going against everything he was with Harley, which is telling her the truth. Now he's lying behind her back. So basically, this is the... He's being the Heath Ledger Joker, basically. The whole, you complete me thing. The whole, we need each other. So, literally, he's trying to be the best villain that Batman ever had. And that he needs, that Batman needs the Joker because he's the one villain who is the shadow to his shadow and stuff like that. Literally, going against everything he said when he was John. Well, technically, John isn't the same as Joker in this half, in this side. So literally, things can change. But also the fact that, well, you can literally make John either, you can make Joker, not John. Gotta establish that in this side, John is gone completely for good. In this one, John is no more, and this one's only Joker. But, so Joker, not John, never again John in this one. So Joker, literally, we need a counter for how many times I've said that. But he is, honestly, he's a pretty good Joker, I guess. He killed a bunch of people. He got to Batman in a way. He got everywhere, and then he exposed everyone's flaws and problems, so literally, all this is come. all this is interesting, because if you say, at the end, after the dinner fight scene after this ad obviously but the dinner fight scene you accidentally um kill the joker and when you bring him back to life which you managed to do even though you think for a split second that you still kept him dead So literally, nothing, none of the three you can say make me feel good inside, just like the previous one. But literally, I wish you could make, like, John, this one, good again. Because you made, you can make v Vigilante Joker into Villain Joker. So why didn't it make sense to make Villain Joker back into a normal person and not Vigilante Joker? Because then if you make Villain into Vigilante, if you make Vigilante into Villain, and make Villain into Vigilante, wouldn't the cycle just restart, basically? Because v Vigilante becomes Villain, and then if you make the Villain the Vigilante, then the Vigilante can go back to being a Villain again. So literally... I would say we had good times, man. I wish we could make Villain Joker, like, our friend again. Like, made him, make him not hate us anymore. We only, we only didn't trust him. That's all we didn't do, is all we didn't trust him. All we did was not trust him for self-defensing against a few guys, and he just loses it. So, and then in Arkham at the after credits, instead of saying nice things to Vigilante Joker and saying we were truly friends and visiting him in Arkham, in this, if you say nice, talk nice with John about how Joker, not John, eh. so Joker, you tell Joker um, that we had good memories. He'll basically just be in Arkham with a Bruce doll. He'll get some lipstick and put it on put it on him as if it was like a Joker smile. That might be a thing for season three. If he ever breaks out in, for season three, if there even is a season three. But I, ho I hope that John can, can come back. Like, whether... I hope there's, like, a thing 
like I saw a glimpse of in this episode, is that since he doesn't want to live without Bruce, what happens if Bruce just leaves? Like, if Batman's gone, and you choose with Alf- Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the other one, Alfred and Tiffany. Alfred and Tiffany. Alfred leaves for good. So, um, you can choose whether to give up being Batman or stay as Batman and giving up on Alfred. I just went with silent, because it may have put me in the giving up on Alfred one, but I didn't say it in my own words. He's Bruce, whenever you choose to give up on him, you literally say that, that you can't give up being Batman out loud. So literally, that's why I went with silent, because I know I would be giving up on Alfred, but I wouldn't tell it to him in the face. But that would be if you gave up the Batman mantle, John would, Joker, not John, Joker would flip out in the asylum. While if you stayed Batman and told him that you were not friends, then you would just have Batman hanging on one of the one of those dome thingies. My cone dome things. And John would be like Joker Joker would be like you, I know you can't, I knew you couldn't stay away from your greatest enemy. So, basically, I would go, for the villain path, personally, I would just go with being nice to him. And then, having the, because, also, if you say he's not friends and give up being, and stay as Batman, then... Literally has a lighter and burns the Bruce doll's head. So, yeah. My final words on the... My final words on this chapter. The final episode of Season 5 for the villain story. My final words on that are... Well, final words are... John, if you're in there, hopefully in Season 3 we can bring you back.